Hello everyone and how are you doing today? Remember, if you don't make money, you will not make sense. Now let's go straight to today's topic. I want you to make money from the low content production of books on Amazon. We all know that creating content on Amazon by doing low content can fetch you money. I have already treated part of it on this channel and that's why I'm showing this to you. If you go to the search bar and I'm showing this in case you need anything on this channel, I have almost 300 tutorials so it might not be easy to find your way around but if you do low content here and hit on search then you can see what I have made about low content books. And then you can see this is how to create low content books. I explained that here. But all along, I'm showing to you now because I told us last week that I'm going into details now. So today I want to show you how to make a particular low content book from beginning to the end. Meaning I'm doing a coloring book today. So if I go to Amazon and I'm showing you these and then I put coloring books. Coloring books is a low content book that makes a lot of money. But I'm going to show you something before I show you how to really make this book. Look, as soon as I pop coloring books on Amazon, it has over 60,000 results. That's to tell you that this is a broad niche, that there are lots of people there. And look at how much have been sold. This is 641 reviews for almost $20. This is 458 reviews for almost $6. The same thing here. Look, if you want to make a lot of money and you don't really know how to write, low content books is what you should look into. And this is it. And you can imagine this. This is Batman. My child likes uh, Spider-Man. Now, apart from even making it for people to buy on Amazon, if you do it for your children, they're going to love it because why? It is what it is. Look at these images. Fantastic. Fantastic. And let me now show you details of how this thing is. You can make these by yourself using a free tool. You don't have to pay for anything. It's absolutely free. This is almost colored. And you can see you can make this coloring book across every niche. That's why it's important. You see, what makes this so interesting? It's easy to make. And believe me, you... You can make across hundreds or thousands of niches. This person is making these across stress relieving. It's a coloring book. This one is making across garden. And you can know what to make and what is trending or what is selling on Amazon. Now, like I said, this is 60,000 results. Look at what I did. And I'll show you how to do it. Because I just added coloring books for adults animal. This is now keyword. Do you understand? This is how to do keyword. I just added adult anima. It crashed to 10,000 results. Remember, the lower the competition, the easier it is for you to rank and to actually make money on. And they are all still selling. This is 5,500. This is 1,100. 1,800 reviews. 1,300. The people on the front page are coloring. Look at this beautiful, beautiful elephant. I'm going to show you how to make all of this. Look at this lion. How to make all these designs and how to do... That's what I'm showing you today, right about now. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay? Now, this is still 10,000. Look at how this works. This is what the students are going to be doing. Children, adults. Fantastic. You say that? But now, you are saying, oh, this is still 10,000. Go back to this channel and put here on the search button, not the big search button on top, on the lower search button of this channel, just put... KDP Keyword Research. KDP Keyword Research. This will pop you into the particular uh, topic that I'm talking about. This is the tutorial. Now, if you know want to know how to choose Kindle Publishing topic, this is it here. Please ensure you see this so that you'll be able to niche down and get something lower. For example, this is still 10,000 search. But look at this. I'm niching down lower. I added coloring books for elderly adult, and this is 909 searches. You need to know how to search so that you will be able to rank and make much, much money instead of you hanging in a place where you can't make money. Now, I still went deeper because even if you find something lower, it will be good. This is 614, and look at what I just did here. Coloring books for seniors with dementia. Now, this is a particular issue with the health. 
and people that have that dementia, there's a coloring book that can help them. And most children and even parents are buying this for their older ones. Now you can make something like this. Okay. I think I've explained what, how we can get these lower competition keywords. And now let's go to how to make it. Go to canva.com. Canva.com is the tool we're going to use to make all of these and many, many, many more of this coloring book. And for free, you can make it. You don't need to have Canva Pro. You can make it with the free version, but I have the Canva Pro and I'm going to use it. The first thing you have to do is your size. If you see custom size, click on custom size so you can set your custom. Now, your custom size, which is always in inches, so you have to change this from pixel to inches, is because of the bleed as well, you have to consider that. Just cram it or write it somewhere. You don't need to stress yourself about it. It's usually 8.625. That is the width and the height is always 11.25 considering the bleed as well so that it will not go outside uh, what your designs are. And then you click on create new design. Please follow through step by step. And I'm sure when you get the old of these, then you can create any type of coloring book in this world, any type at all. Okay, let me increase this font size a bit. Uh, that's too much. Okay, I think this is perfect so that we can get it. Now, this is a page, it's a blank page. The first thing you have to do here is to create your margins. So you go to file, it's very easy. Go to file and then you see show margins. Click on show margins. And you can see a dotted show of margins here. Now, the extreme edges are what I call the bleed in the first place so that it, uh, Amazon will not be rejecting when you upload. Okay? So, everything you're going to work with is inside this uh, margin. Okay? Now, after that, it's not time for us to create. So, you can just click on Next. For example, let's say I want to create um, just a basic coloring book. Because um, a basic coloring book, I will just say, I love, let me use capital letters, okay, or cap lock, I love me. I just do this, I love me, then I increase the font a bit, I increase the font a bit, I'm beginning to design, then I can centralize that. You see how I centralized it? I just moved it till I see these two thick lines, then I drop my cursor. And then it's centralized. I have a tutorial on uh, Canva. If you want to see the full Canva tutorial to teach you how to use Canva, you can check up on that. But even if you don't really know it, I'll try my best to, you know, pop in the little, little things here so that you can get it right from these in case you have not seen Canva. But I encourage you to see that Canva tutorial. Now, this is all block. This is all block, but you want to make it something that can be painted. Okay. So what do you do? You go to effects. This is effect. You click on effect and you can now see effects that hollow, just use hollow. That's what I always use and I think that's the only one you can use. Uh, just click on hollow and then it turns it to something that you can, you know, color, which is beautiful. Then from that, that's it. You have started making something. Now the next thing are the designs that we have to add. Now, if you love yourself, what do you do? Go to elements. And also, this is what you do in case you want to do elephants, you want to build lions, whatever it is you want to build, is the same process. Uh, if you need more details, maybe you need a particular coloring book or something, you can go to the comment section and request, I will make it. Now on this channel, I'm going directly into things that matter. I'm not just saying it. I want to be teaching each one each day, and that's what I'm doing now. Okay? So I go to elements, and let's say I need flowers. Let me start from that. If I love myself, then flowers are a good bit for me. Now you can see there are flowers here. Then I look for flowers that has coloring patterns. Look at this one. It has big leaves. I can pattern this. This is pro, by the way. You can look for this is free. I hope you see that. There are pro, they are free. So I go with the pro version. And then I have these. Then I can turn it over because absolutely this can be turned just to make more sense. You know, this is just design. It depends on what you think or what you want and then ensure everything stays in the margin something like this okay then that's a flower that can be colored you can also go again seek more flowers seek more flowers okay now I want to show you something that is very very uh, sweet here just go here okay this is one I can pick on that as well and look at that 
nice this is another flower i reduce it because it must not over your it must not go over your text that's one thing with this and you can just design it anyhow you want i can copy this and uh you know repeat the same thing here uh like that beautiful you see it's making sense but now i've done flowers i have to add some other things maybe let's say i had spinach by the way you can search for anything on this particular uh you know uh on canva anything at all so this is spinach if i click on that spinach and then it gives me i'm deliberately using this so that you can see I'm sure you can see that it's green and you're like, oh, this is not transparent. I'll make it transparent now. Just hold on. This is how I do it. I drag this down and make sure it's inside the margin. You don't want it to extend outside the margin. But this is green. If you tap it on it, just like I tapped, you can see on here uh, the colors. So I click on this. Since I want it transparent, change it to white. I hope you see that. This as well, I can change it to gray just the color i change it to gray or i change it to ash and then it's colorable then the edges are too dark the edges are too dark i don't want the edges to be that dark it's black because i want it to be colorable so i can just do it this way and change it like this to something that is lighter let me use this and then it becomes lighter which is the deep black i just want it lighter beautiful okay that's that and then you know based on what you think or what you guess can come in you can just use these elements to pop it up for example now there are what we call simple and drawing objects and drawn objects so you can just tap simple and drawn objects i search on that so i can also include it in it to make it more beautiful and then you can see all the and drawn objects here and there and you locate anyone you want and change it to whatever like this one for example if I wanted these if it's changeable because some of them are pictures images that you cannot change the color meanwhile in a coloring book you only add black and white whoever needs to color would be the one to add the coloring this one I can change the pictures I mean the color as you can see there is no uh, space for coloring so I can't use this I get done over it but look this is like an angel okay I like this I can just add this to it as well and minimize meanwhile you have to minimize some increase some just use your instinct your design instinct to create some of these things I love myself yes I could be an angel as well this is too thick I go to black just the same process and then I can change it a bit to something lighter like that or like this and if it is too dark, you can get rid of it altogether. Okay, just like that. And then I go back and keep searching. Now, this is how you make this. Let's see what this holds. Okay, beautiful. This is nice as well. And then I make it smaller. Make it smaller and I pop it. Let me pop it here. Because I can also make these ones smaller it's outside the box please that's why it's a design so you have to spend more time on it don't be in a hurry do something that you'll be proud of at the end of the day because if your designs are good you have much much sales and ensure that what you are using as your elements are related to the i love you uh, i love me you know the i love me thing then you can also use um objects elements like rectangles for example you can just pop rectangle you can use a square you can use circle you know depending on what you want this is transparent rectangle so that people can color that you go this way and then i can just put that up here for coloring you can use maybe let me copy and paste so i can use it somewhere else, something like this you know you can just create designs based on your instinct like i'm doing something it's not necessary you use the exact pattern I'm using, but you can create something based on what you love. Aha, I think I like that. And then you can go for um, circle as well. And then you use circle as well. Just here and there, the transparent ones, by the way, like this is transparent. So I can just 
close up something here just to aid my drawing or my coloring so when it is colored something nice comes out of it now this is good it's looking nice to you it may not make much sense but for someone who's going to color it it's, it's just beautiful when people are coloring now i still have spaces here but i don't want to continue you know doing over i hope you understand what i'm trying to do and that's how you build based on the instinct that you have you can search for anything you can even use a human figure let's say because you said i love myself you can put human and it will give you the you know the types of things you can color for example these are human beings so let's say i choose this one and then let it pop up i can reduce that it's going to load that image for me and i can just use it on this angle like this but then it's too thick so it's too dark remember it's going to be painted so you can change this to a lighter color something like that or uh, lighter so there can be a paint to come on it someone can color that you see something like that you just make do with transparent things that can be colored like for example this one is also good you use, if you're on the free version then you have to use the free things if you're on the paid version then you can use anything at all something like that uh, um, no that's on the lane now there's one last thing you have to know this is also too thick I can intend to reduce it or there is another form of thing you can use for example now if you look at these uh, digits here is transparency if I don't want to change the color I can just go over to transparency I hit on it then I reduce it this way and it's almost like changing the color as well and then it just reduces that that's transparency that's it it's just that way and then you have something that you can put please ensure you go deeper into your design mode so that you won't just uh design something worth it do something that will be worth it like i don't like this human figure so i can absolutely just place this here it's the same thing that's how you do it but one last thing before you can download this for use one last thing i have to tell you let me do that i go for transparency again this is transparency but you can see position and then this transparency because i know it might be smaller if you are watching from your phone so you just do it this way so people can color aha now the last thing you have to do is oh this one had gotten outside this is to add borders to this design for example the way you're looking at it because your margins are just transparent lines which is just invisible now you have to add borders to it to add the beauty of color to it how do you add borders to it go to your elements again close anything you searched and then you can see shapes shapes aligned or better still just do exactly what we did earlier go to transparency uh, sorry go to um, the search and put rectangle that's what you are going to use then you can choose on a rectangle that is transparent like this the one I use here has little curvy borders but you have to use the one that has extreme rectangle which is sharp borders so I click on that now and I can now move this here place it on exact uh, line that is a margin and then drag this to cover it drag this to cover it something like this and then drag this to cover it that's okay I have to drag it again a bit more something like that just to cover the borders uh, let me go back be on the border aha something like this this one is out it has to be on the margin and this is my border remember this is too thick you don't want that as well click on the transparency and minimize the border so it looks like this now we are very ready and you can adjust this because as you can see this is on top of it on top of virtually everything so one of the other things you can do is if you click on it you can send it to the back send backwards it goes behind you click again send backwards so it goes to the back so that every of your other designs can be on top in case this is overlapping on it you can move this out of the way something like that you move this out of the way because the coloring will not be good if it stands on the uh, borders so you just move this out of the way adjust each one out of the way for example if you are moving and it's moving so sharp you just press your control and 
move. If you press control, it will let it move gradually instead of moving sharp once. Do you understand that? It moves gradually instead of moving once and sharp. And that's exactly what you do. And now your coloring book is ready for download. And if you download this, you can now do a lot of, uh, what do I call this? A lot of pieces because this is just one. I hope you remember that. This is just one out of many pages. You're not just going to use one page. If you say, I love me, then you can put another quote. Maybe you are doing a, a, a coloring quote book. Let's even search that uh, before I go. Coloring book for quotes, if that exists. Because that's how you get new things. Oh, it exists. And this is 50,000. Let me say quotes for children. Because that's another thing I'm increasing. Now, this is what I do. And this is 1,000. This is good. Coloring book quotes for children. I say for quotes for children. No, let me just... But it's good. It's very good. This is something because on 1,000, you can drive to these. Yeah, it's very good. So you see, you can you see how these images are made. You make flowers, you make candies. Depending on what you're trying to do, those are the ones you get. I hope this settles it for you and you make your first money and continually to make thousands of dollars from this. I'll see you in the next video.